Oh, yeah, you yeah, so no. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Of course, uh, Jake is off this week, so we are brought to you by myself, Ben. Who are you? I am Ben from Nolan TCG. And uh, yeah, welcome. Today I am here with Blake from Blake Goes Face. <laughs> and uh, Logan from... Snake Rat. Where do you want to be from? Well... <laughs> LB Place? Snake Rat! Snake Rat on Twitch. Why am I subscribed to LB Place? I don't know who that is. That's inconsistent branding, Logan. You need to understand... Weren't you people... Noxus Fumes for like... A year. Yeah, and then everything changed. I made sure everything was the same. Everything has changed. Yeah. Anyway. How yeah. was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Sad. Why was it, was it sad? It was sad. <laughs> uh, I didn't get to play much Yu-Gi-Oh. But I did get to sell Sprite. Like yeah, a week later. <laughs> yeah. I did the same it's thing. It's a good time. Uh, and I bought Tear Elements. It is, it is more of a... Oh, no, it's not more of a Yu deck. The way it's playing with the punk engine sure, and sure. snow, either uh, yeah. more, either more. Mean. Yeah, it is not a not you deck, but I thought like full combo sp- sprite is probably ah, uh, it's a bit too linear. Full for combo you. sprite reminds me of like ABC format. Yeah. Me, this reminds me of like yeah, Torn and Spiral yeah, format. Yeah, yeah. Me, to relevant he can he can send destroyer and then be like, oh he's shocked. Now Dude, I can do synchro as back. well. Synchro, yeah. Ooh, I can. Yeah, I, I make the white card. Ooh. I make a white. card. I summon Mame. Fusion summon with the tokens. <laughs> Nah. I haven't seen an extra deck in real life in all months. Because you play Birch. I, mean, I just don't know what an extra deck is, to be honest. There it was exists. A... There's 15 cards there. Yeah, I just haven't looked at it. There's a bunch of like people in the Sprite, like you, Facebook page, trying to test Smoke Screen and Flunder in the Sprite. Because your 15 card extra deck is just a Sprite extra. And your 15 card side is your Sprite side. No. But both of those decks go first. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, with Smashes, you can probably go second with Sprite, but it's not good. I guess. No. Yeah. Sure. Did you play Locals? No, because I had to work, so. Fair. Great week. Did you play Locals? I played a Locals. Uh, I played tonight. I went 2-2. Two, two. Uh, yeah. I made a mistake. I didn't pay proper attention in round one, and it cost me. Uh, round two, I had to buy, so count that as you will. Easy. Uh, round three. So one three, really. Round three, <laughs> I lost. Yeah. Uh, and then round four... I won. Uh, I opened Ultimate Slay in rounds two, in rounds Not round one, two. Around, <laughs> one in round four, and both times it was like absurd. It was just yeah, like, just... your board is gone. So buy that up your Ultimate Slay. That card is so good. It's not once per turn. It's just so good. It's not once per it's turn. It's not once per turn. We're back to this wow. turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, on the match that went up yesterday uh, against Luke in the final, I resolved two. I go uh, Ultimate Slay, send... Uh, the Link 4 uh, Rip his board apart So he just has a totally awesome left What Link 4? Uh, the Life Twin Link Sunny Kid Oh Because it, it is an extra send yes. And you can threaten the evenly matched coming back Yeah uh, And then Yeah The follow up to that was then I was like Oh Now I activate the second one So then Xyz Your toad is gone You have one back row I know it's an imp I would <laughs> you, know yeah. what, you know what it means That he was so surprised That it's not once returned He didn't know He didn't watch the podcast He didn't watch the podcast last week Where I already had this discussion About how it's not once per turn I think busted Don't watch the content Really disappointed in you Blake But how was No I didn't I didn't (laughs) Uh, Well This is going to be deja vu If anybody could be fucked to watch Because I I remember talking about this So I was really trying to come up with a way to say this Because it's not Bird Corner It's Mech Mondays I don't know It's not fucking Monday Mech Mondays I'm playing ABC in Master Duel Yes! Um, it's good, thing, right? isn't it? I, again This is going to be the deja vu part So Buster Dragon's at one <laughs> Um, yeah. That's not great It means I have to play Magnet Reverse No, um, no you don't Well, I thought so Because I was like Well, having one is a problem I'll, I'll make it work I'm just fucking dumpstering people. And I think it's purely on the basis of, like, people a lot of deck... Yeah, people are bad, <laughs> but, like, you banish the right thing and people go, oh. well, you know what? I'll, I'll just pack up my shit and yeah. leave. Yeah. Like, people just don't care. Sure. They're not going to um, try and then re-rate the board. Yeah, well, and, like, I normally... Did, I just did, like, like, a bunch of heavy traps yeah. with the vanities and all this shit and then just normal combo with a couple, like, with the Galaxy Soldier package and stuff. Oh, yeah, you but play fun, Once I've hit... A high rank with Bird. Um, now I can just play Fun Decks. And it's been pretty good. Wait, what? So what? once you hit a high rank. Yeah. 
You no. switch? Yeah, I just start playing Fundex. When you use the Fundex to get to the rat hunk and then you use the birds to get to the top? No, because like with the fun <laughs> because my brain is stupid, I actually want I I want to play as well as I can and I want to be super competitive. So I'm like, I'd rather verse good decks with my fun decks and just try and beat them because that feels better to me than just dumpstering on fucking like Oh, Lotini. I played shitty Dragon Maids for somebody who doesn't know how to play Dragon Maids. Yeah. I'd rather like beat the Sword Soul player with ABC and go <laughs> sucked um, okay. than like That's making more, that makes yeah. sense. Okay. That feels I'll funny be... to me because then I know no, they're, no. they're seething. Well, because when I play when I played Sword Soul on Master Duel and lost the fucking rock deck I'd go <laughs> yeah sure yeah. sure uh, and uh trying out the fucking tawny thing they're doing uh, I have not done that I, I'm gonna right. on the live stream on yep. Friday I'm gonna pack that open and see how that goes uh this podcast is probably gonna go up like right as that live stream is starting yep so, so what's I'm not that? gonna promote tune in too to much the, tune into the live stream if you're stream. one of the five people that watches this podcast we love you when it goes up no like the moment it goes up, there's a live stream on my channel right now, but you're going to be too late for it if you're watching this yeah. later or listening to this so later. So pause this, so. go watch the VOD replay of that. No, it's like four live. hours it long. It won't have monetization out. on it because either I'll disable monetization because it's a charity stream or someone will join the chat again and play music and get it demonetized. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's just a punish. What a guy. <laughs> um, I've like slowly started to love any artist who's been like, all my shit's good, just use it. I'm like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, people don't want to do that. People want to join and then start playing rap music blasted with the M word. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. That's the way it goes. Or uh, I got Darude Sandstorm a lot, which just speaks volumes on uh, we'll get fucking me. This podcast will get demonetized. Yeah, 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 it'll get demonetized if you do too many. Running up and down the stairs. Running up and down the stairs. I was even doing it off this. Um. But yeah, so my week was just yeah playing a lot of that. Yeah. Playing oh, a lot we're of, still on you know, your week. Oh yeah, we're God. still on Blake's week. See, this is what Ben was like worried that we wouldn't no, have content. No, we, we, have, we, oh, have, we have content, content because there's this small little part where Jake likes to go to Master Duel. Fuck Master Duel. We're talking about the real game. The speed real duels. game. The speed fuck. duel. So <laughs> there we go. a speed <laughs> duels <laughs> got a ban list this week. Did it really? Uh, speed duels got a ban list. Uh, they have gone okay. the route of the. Uh, how do you put it? They're doing a master duel. No, not master duel. Duel links style ban. You can't list. escape master duel man. Um, oh, are they like the way that the oh, limited and, and yes. stuff? So works. you can only play one, one of a card limited one. card. Yeah. Two semi limited cards and, and three unlimited cards. I hate it. Yeah. Okay, so the cards... It could on. work if they did it right. They don't. <laughs> no. Cards, it's a cool concept, though. Cards limited to one. Jinzo. Sick. Reinforcement of the army. Amazing. Foolish burial. Oh. Sad. Zome of the spirit. Uh, what the fuck is that? I think it facilitates... It's like the meta deck for dual speed. That. Dual speed, yep. Yeah, dual speed. Yeah, yeah, Meta deck for dual speed, yeah. Uh, cool. Cards that have gone to two. Yes. Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. <laughs> Uh, the Weevil <laughs> Underwood skill card specifically. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Can you so, only play one skill card? Yeah, but then Much that would lock. If you're playing that, you can only then play one of the other cards that are limited to two. Oh, I see what you're saying. I hate that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is key because then you get Parasite Paranoid. Yeah. Um, oh, so you only play one of the like two of the. You can three. play those two, but you can't play any other card that's limited to two. Yep. Which includes a Lure of Darkness. Union Hanger and Nightmare Wheel. Yeah. Union yeah. Hanger is in the format. Yeah. We can play ABCs. Uh, I don't. I don't think, think ABC or that. Think... Oh. It's probably X oh, Y Z. Yeah, yeah. X Y Z Dragon Dick. You need hang out. You hang out would have to be a bloody what's it called? Skill card. No, no it's a no. It's card. just a card. Yeah, it's just in the game. I'm playing dual speed. Dual speed. Dual speed. Dual speed has. We have playmats. They sent us them. Dual speed playmat. They sent you that, they but not OTS. They sent us a fuck a, a box of them. But you're not a real store. We need to go play dual speed. They don't care. It's it's they they were like, yeah, get people into the game. Here's a bunch of product, and we were like, wow, yeah, you're not you a get, real store. Did you get my, the the OTS packs for it? Is there OTS packs with speed duels? Yeah, no. the cards didn't worth a fuckload. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back through that box. Yeah, you probably should. And then hit us up because we'll do a uh, dual speed locals. <laughs> yeah, dual speed locals. Dual Fuck speed yeah. locals. Dual speed. Uh, however, they do have cards going to three on this ban list. What does that mean? It means uh, you can only play three. three of oh, those cards. oh, wow. That's... It, conf it confused me right. when I saw it. I was like, yeah, are they okay. going back to three? These, these are limited to three. Sure. Uh, Break of the Magical Warrior. Sick. DD Warrior Lady. Mm hmm. So Book of Moon. We're goating at this point. Yeah. Cosmic Cyclone. Okay. And Metaverse. 
This is just GOAT format with extra steps. Yeah, it the, is. This is what happens, though, when you have a format that's a- effectively worse than GOAT. Like, significantly worse than yeah. GOAT. Mm. And you're like, here's a bunch of acceleration and power spells. Here's a lore of dark. Pretty much every card on this Rodar, band list a lo- yeah, is yeah. a card that didn't exist in GOAT format and would have been Fucked gone if it was. Format, yeah. yeah. God, a lore of dark. Oh my god. A lore of darkness in GOAT format? No. You want to agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's cool. Yeah. There's quite an interesting ban list to see. Not the one we expected. We, of course, expected a Master Duel ban list. Yes. Like we did for the past three months. If but, you play Dual Speed, yeah. let us know in the comments. What do you get from your Dual Speed OTS pack? Did you get one of those $500 Ultra Rares? Yeah. I get what the, the fuck. I'm joking. Did, did, in the Dual, dual Speed yeah. 1, there are some very expensive. Yeah, because they're, 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 they're like the highest rarity of cards. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I remember see. them putting high rarity versions of cards that like we just didn't have. Yeah. Did you see the comments on the last podcast where someone wrote, I am here, in response to us saying, let us know if you're here when Jake lied. Oh, good. He was there. <laughs> it was nice to know that you were here. <laughs> uh, I haven't read the podcast from the actual video. I should probably do that now. Um, anyway, Sorry, next bit of news. Uh, they did announce the next, uh, how do you put it, main set, I guess? Uh, yeah, I would call it, the it next, main set. The next main set. Mm. Uh, it is a, I've already forgotten the name. It's Photons. Is a oh, photon it set. is. Yes, you are uh, right. Didn't that guy die? Isn't he dead? The main character for that? Photon Hypernova? No, cut. Isn't that his name? Isn't he dead? If it's in a series after GX, I don't know what you're talking about. Chumley Gang. I don't fuck Chumley. Chumley Gang. Um, I actually don't Zeb, care. He said fuck Chumley. Yeah, fuck, no, fuck Chumley. I actually don't, I actually don't <laughs> care. So yeah, uh, like, Photon yeah. set, Photon Chumley base gang. set. They've announced a bunch of cards for Photons in it. They're all right. It is kind of base. Do you, th- do you think support. a whole set around an archetype will make it good? Well, no. Well, it's because it's a main set. You're gonna get like ten cards. Yeah, that's true. The answer is no. Um, I love the photon design. Yeah, like the links, the XEs. <gasps> Wait, does that mean photon thrash is going up in price? Do you have ulti still? I do. I uh, do. <laughs> I do. I bought them off a undisclosed man at locals. Odds on, yes. Yes, they were going up in price. Yes, they are gonna be worth a bit of money. Welcome to Market Watch section of this video where we talk about Blake's cards. Because I bought them for ABCs. <laughs> I remember this. It's not the not the worst purchase you've made. I saw you get a big red. Yeah, oil. yeah. Oh, to be fair though, the amount of money I made off that is probably very close to what I bought those photon ashes for. Um, this was equally as oh, like gosh. yeah. Um, I mean, I, who did you buy it from? Undisclosed man that is no longer at our locals. <sighs> Okay. If that helps. Oh, it does. So, yeah. Um, where are we? But. Uh, is, I don't like the way you want to be about that. I don't like the way you want to be about that. It's my arch nemesis. The new Galaxy Summoner level 4. We all know who the real arch nemesis is. Yeah, um, we do. Um, I tried to fuck with that. <laughs> so, the new level 4 is when at normal special summon, target a photon or galaxy monster to grave out special summon defense position. It's a level 4 sure. extender. Flips them all back across. Okay. Uh, you can target another light once you control. Uh, it's level becomes four, so it just creates the rank four, and the rank four from that latest set was actually pretty good. I think it gets them through full combo. So, effectively an extender. They also got like a bunch of just free support, some new XEs. Uh, it's mostly like Zeus cards though. Uh, then they got their new quick play. Oh, uh, their new their continuous spell. Um, do, 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 do. Let's use send. So when the card resolves, it sends. Uh, and then if Galaxy Eyes Photon is special summoned, you can look at your opponent's extra deck. Uh, then you can apply one of these effects, banish one monster from it, or special one number monster from it to your field. What? Yeah, so uh, Fro- if Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is special summoned, you can, you can look, look at your at- opponent's extra deck, then apply one of these effects, banish one monster from it, or special summon one number monster from it to your field. So you're banishing a monster from it. Cause who, what Name a number this game played at the moment. If your opponent plays Removably on, it's pretty cute. <laughs> if, yeah. It doesn't ignore deck. summoning conditions, right? Special summon the number one stone. Pretty good. Gets around cards that say like this card can't be XYZ or oh, this card must be like, whatever the fuck. Um that that's cool though, and like that could have been really good, but it's probably not. It's probably not worth it. It's it's conditional. I guess yeah, it's what? great for the Saturday morning locals. Oh uh, yeah, true. I would love to see photons be good because the dark type's just cool looking, but uh, Shut up! You just want your photon thrashes to go. On oh no! I ju- oh, like uh... yeah. Like when we were first getting to Yu-Gi-Oh, that was one of the dark types. So I was like, bro, big, big level I dragons. I think some in dragon. Yeah, the, uh... but like they're big. Yeah. Um, and galaxy. So cool, but like, yeah. they they were just hard. Did receive a new 
Well, I guess this doesn't work with the uh, with Photon Thrasher. So 300 death of meat will be uh, spiking massively Sad. in price. Uh, I'll do the war with They will price. stay in ABCs. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, no, it does work. It's just two level force. Sorry, my apologies. I was reading the typing of the card, not the other bit. Uh, mm. It is a rotor. So the new level, the new rank four they got uh, can either add or dump. That's so pretty good. That's that's, all, that's always nice. You just kind of but we can't have a bar chain, which is an only dump or top deck. Yeah. They also got a new C monster. It's big. It's got a lot of text on it. Uh, it's probably going to be. It's um, unaffected by opponent's monster effects if it has Galaxy Ice Photon as material. That's and cool. it also gains attack. Uh, combine cool. levels of combine levels and ranks of all monsters attached to it. So times hundred, it's going to get like sixteen hundred attack. Sick. Um, so it's just an unaffected sixteen hundred. Uh, Forty six hundred attack. It's a no, stick. Fifty six hundred attack. It's a stick. 56 towers. That's pretty good. Is it? <laughs> um, it's a lot of traps. At the start of the battle phase, do. you can detach one material from this card. It can make three attacks on <laughs> monsters. Sure, Chief. Three attacks would have been good on monsters. Is it a wind? Uh, it's a light. Oh, okay. Is it yeah, a wind? Oh, they also got a new Karibo. Uh, no. But that's that's all the new cards from... I've already forgot what it was. Photon, Photon Hypernova. Photon Hypernova. Yep. If anything um, relevant comes up from the set, we will, of course, tell you. When we do not see relevant things, we will not bother you with them. Apparently, we give you irrelevant things anyway, because these are all irrelevant. I mean, they're, they're cool, they're they're cool for like some people, but we won't spend a lot of time on them. Well, they're, they're, yeah. they're not, you know. Uh, we do then get to the other kind of deck build pack that we're expecting at the moment, Ultimate Defenders. Amazing Defenders, sorry. Uh, they announced the new archetype for that. It's, it's a ritual-based, so I'm not really going to care much about it. Blue uh, card. You've lost me already. It's like a bunch of they sword really dancey did. kind of stuff. They printed two blue cards. They printed We're a not blue Andrew. card. <laughs> we don't care about blue cards. Yeah, they printed a blue archetype with a bunch of equip cards. spells. So, oh, no, it's a field spell. There are so many equip play colors. spells. Name them. Equip, equip. Red. Equip. Yeah, orange. Really. Let's. Yellow. You've already got orange and yellow. Oh, I guess. Oh, uh, uh, and red! <laughs> pink. <laughs> Pink's already a color. Oh, I'll man. humor you, and I will read the ritual at least. So if this card's busted, oh, it will give you a reason to try and break the archetype. Uh, so you can only use the first and third effect once per turn. The first effect is you can reveal this card in your hand and add one. It's just a rotor. You just reveal it in your hand and rotor then discard. Um, not bad, not bad. Can't be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would take involving this card instead. Uh, you can target one equip spell in your graveyard. Equip it to the appropriate monster on the battlefield. It's kind of uh, unless these equip spells are busted. I don't see this architect being that amazing. I look forward um, to the reverse FTK. One's a special summon from hand or graveyard. Uh, can't be sure by card effects, and then we have a bunch of effects. Eh, it's a ritual archetype. You're gonna have to ritual summon that monster. You could be asleep with that that segment. Yeah, <laughs> our five viewers that are watching this as soon as it came out have left to go watch they the live. Just, they heard rituals and were like. <laughs> Let me out of here. They're like, maybe Ben's live stream is Rain- worth it. Rainbow. <laughs> you want to show me a rainbow cut? Uh, While you were doing that, we started yeah. a side segment. Yeah, yeah I was no. trying to think of colors. Anyway, anyway. Uh, we'll now pivot from, I guess, global Yu Gi Oh news to a bit more localized stuff that's going on in uh, the Australian Yu Gi Oh scene. Is it just us? What? It's just it's Australia. It's seemingly just serious? the Australian Yu Gi Oh scene. Oh. Given that other countries have had these OTS packs for months, I'd assume that everyone else just has full supply. Um, yeah, so, so <laughs> I'm not sure whether or not this is a worldwide case at the moment, but OTS please packs, tell us if it is. By yeah, the way. please comment below if this is the case where you are. Uh, OTS is now limited to a hundred packs per month at each OTS store. At back, yeah. Um, yeah, that is the max allocation a store can receive now. Quite big, considering if your locals is running two a month, that's twelve point three to a week. Yeah, twelve point three per tournament. Yeah, if you run two tournaments a week at two tournaments a week, yeah, and like, it's just dumb. Like as as a context, as quick context, normally, um, OTS would be up for a certain amount of time. Stores can buy them for like three bucks fifty a pack. Yeah, uh, I don't care about talking about this now. I'm not, I'm not at a store that does it uh, yet. Um, uh, you buy at three bucks fifty a pack, and then you value them at five bucks a pack, and then normally you give one to well, good stores, good stores. I do one for participation, and then uh, extras for X ones and the winner. Um, all the way up, we'd probably crunch through, you know, 20 to 30 to 35 uh, per event, given, you know, 15 to 20 people. Yeah. You can get through a lot of them, but you can just buy them through a period of time, and then at some point, it'll cut off until the next OTS comes out, and then you'll get that one. And so there's normally a bit of period of time where we kind of run, run out. Yeah. But now it looks like either through stock issues, or which I guess so- is an argument... 
or it could be the argument they present, from, but it's not the argument. From the email, like their excuse, I, I get, it's, you can loosely say excuse, is that they want to frame OTS packs as a premium product, sure, and not something that you can just go and get a bunch of. In reality, it's probably to try and strangle down the locals that are like, "Oh, new OTS released. We definitely run a tournament, but now have a bunch of ultis for sale." Yeah. Or like they'll run a tournament with eight players. Those eight players will get, we'll get five a each. Yeah, they'll yeah. get like a hundred. Yeah. Just so that they then have them in circulation to then sell. Yeah. Like um, it's. I kind of take the grounds of the same thing when I said send shit early uh, it's the store's job to not do that and if they yes. get caught doing that they just get put on a fucking yeah. list like yeah, that's just how it doesn't works. have a list yeah um, I but like I don't see why you push <coughs> away the idea of oh you get a locals with bro can you imagine we get 30 people and what the fuck are you doing but again like, it's, it's, annual, it's hurting the, the locals that has consistent player numbers yeah yeah if you have 12 to 13 players, you can only give out one pack. We had local today with 13 players, and we had to go, like, me and James sat there for 10 minutes going, how do we make this work? Because you want to reward the person who comes first and the people who go X1. Absolutely. But, but the you people would... who go X2, X3, X4, whatever the fuck, they make up most of what you're making in that locals yes. so you want to support them you're also yeah. making a change to a product that has been used as a participation pack in its 19th edition N- not only its 19th edition there's 8 actual eight, packs that yeah. come before that and then there's 8 I, of the I, other OTS I, 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 yeah. wait what did, you just said actual pack right yes yeah I'm literally looking up I'm trying to find what the the uh, allocation what the allocation was for that like how people ran because I remember it's just been the same I, I remember sure. Brad getting I remember getting one I remember getting one for going like XO everyone got one pack you couldn't buy anymore yeah it was always yeah. a participation pack yeah but that's it right like still so a participation pack for going to your OTS store yeah which is what the OTS pack should be the participation pack for playing at an OTS event yeah um, what f- I, I, I have always OTS? I have always advocated for the OTS pack too because of like how much money's been in them, especially the last like five. Uh, I've loved being like, wow, you guys can make money. Like, not a huge, but like if you pull something good, yeah. you could just pay for a playset of something. Yeah. Like that's just nice for for like you guys. Like, what? How what, still sits at like a hundred something? How, many, how much? What is it? Three. Ulti's normally per 100 packs? Uh, it's normally 3, three per, per 50. 50. Sorry? Yeah. So yeah. 3 per 50... You fuck, can hit man. 4 sometimes. Like, it's, a, it's a 3... I think I, it's a low 3 ratio. I would understand this if they were giving us anything else to subsize tournaments with. No. But there isn't anything. So like, other games might do a participation pack and a winner pack. Or like, you, you know what I mean? Like, Because then there's a point to winning. Then yeah. you go, oh wow, I even have a higher chance to hit... Yeah. something cool or well, that's it yeah like I'll find it interesting is whether or not stores that get OTS championships receive an additional allocation of OTS packs Ooh, good oh because right. if As you're the... running an extra premium event you're gonna need more at least to go at with least that. especially when more. people from other stores will come for that yes. premium yeah. event yeah. yeah but that's the thing we were talking about before like off the pod because of this allocation I would be surprised if every store suddenly has 10 or 12 people from another game store going, oh, I'm here to play tournament. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm just Sydney, coming to play. Yeah. I'm going to Wollongong to play OTS tournaments. Oh, but even think about in Sydney, right? You've got <laughs> from the Sutherland Shire all the way to the city, Bondi Junction Plus. Like, Miranda there's probably, yeah, there's, 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 probably fucking, there's probably 15 locals there yeah. that people, and like West Sydney, like people just farm them and then what? You're done in two weeks. Yeah. And then we go, oh, okay, so I guess OTS isn't a thing. So you have less reason to come to locals, which is definitely what we want. Not like you know what I was scared of, because they didn't. They haven't been clear in these emails what gives you allocations. Like they said, it's been this is, it's been kind of vague. It's yeah. vague, but like they said, like oh, your numbers determine this and, and all that. What if, and this is just hypothetical, you get to this point where people are going, there's going to be thirty players at every event in Sydney. Yeah, there's still the f- 13, 14 that have always been at Wollongong. Stay at Wollongong, and so suddenly they go, 
well, comparatively numbers, they're getting more. You're doing worse. So yeah, they're going to get yeah. 100. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to get 50. 50. Yeah. yeah. This is a fair point, too. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's. It's also, in. Yeah, you go. No, uh, also, in the email touching on to that, uh, it mentions how much product you purchase. It's like, it's based on your locals' turnout. How much product you purchase. Wow. And then there was a third thing. <laughs> it's a multi level marketing yeah, game. There is, there's like three factors. Sure. That go into so like how much product you buy and, from Icon. Yes. Where did the email come from? Sorry. Yeah, but no, no, no. But it doesn't matter, right? Because True, yeah, because, yeah. for example, like we aren't an OTS store yet. You're not but, gonna be if this comes out. <laughs> no, but but, like, we, but we aren't yet. But we have spoken to them about what they need from us to get that, and this is what we've been told as well. Yeah, of course. Um. So anyway, so I understand. Okay, if you buy fucking fifteen cases of every set, they probably see you as a higher end yes. store. Here's some more ATS. Yeah, fine. But, but it's, it's gonna disappear to for sports models. Uh, like, what was the third thing? I'm not sure, but it, it was, was participation numbers. Yeah, product sales and uh being consistent in putting in the tournament results sure on yeah. time yes uh, not at the end of the month yes yeah. uh it i i think i mentioned it on here before it is also due to the fact that somebody for every single event in this country that i know of has to manually go through and go this was a legit event approve next one this was a legit event Approve. It's a manual process. The Nolan Hizzy hey. locals getting um, run out of a shed isn't going to fly, is it? No, <laughs> it's really not. No, run out of a church. Yes. Yes. I can, I can solve this. Yeah, <laughs> big man. Um, big man. Uh, sorry, big man. Uh, yeah, shout out. Uh, he would give us OTS. Um, what do you mean? He does. Yeah, it's true. It's 100. Um, but. It, it, I thought maybe it was a stock thing or like a, a like because we had that big delay and then yeah. like all this shit I thought maybe it was oh they just don't have access to it so they're trying to like yeah. siphon it out as best well, they can well that's what I wonder is this is this a fun? foreseeable future yeah or is this we have got nothing going because of the way shipment is going and delivery yeah. and we just need to yeah. get by like for the next year if this is a, a region exclusive kind of issue as well I think it will definitely be that yeah like we've struggled to get product into this country for a while not necessarily on a consistent basis but main sets that's fine we can seemingly get that everything else is just kind of a you get it whenever the fuck you get it I'm gonna be honest I'm super willing to throw Icon under the bus here because in Yu-Gi-Oh product LPG gets us to it before the date. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. There is some, obviously there's delays. Like we've had delays for product for fucking ages and yeah. there are problems with the delays. We got Poe from LPG and we ordered it after we ordered our Icon one and we still got it way well, before. Power of the Elements Icon though us. is a main set. That's normally like relative. Yeah. Yes. You you can't get power of the elements anymore. It's no. Oh yeah, it's gone. It's during um, chaos levels. But yeah. but that's because it's so good. What's yeah. in, that's simply it just because it's a good. It was naturally um, what happened. What I noticed was Icon was like, he will send you the, for pre release. Yeah. And we went, thank you. And then LPG said, We'll send you it for release. And we still got LPG's one first. And I was like, I've spoken to the independent like people who own the independent stores in Sydney and they're just like I pay for Express and Hassle oh. them on the day and hope. Uh, the email came from uh, the head of uh, Konami Ishiro. Ooh, yeah. That so was... they would have they would have a knowledge of like how much product is coming into the country then. Yes. So like we, it could feasibly we, be. The you know who this guy is. Yeah. He's a he's the board guy. Kevin. Board guy Weiss, yes. Yeah. Kevin. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Shit. That's okay, where the yeah. email came from. Interesting. Good guy. Again, it could be. It could just be him being told you're going to do this from now on because we can only get this amount of oh, for sure. it could be a myriad of things that like yeah, yeah but what, that, what seemingly we, from a our, us basis this is what we've come to what comes through my mind when I think of this whole thing it goes like from a tournament perspective oh God. you know what you have to do because you only have a certain amount of packs now and you want to give out participation packs you go through your packs more yeah so now you have to buy more packs yes to make oh, sure you have first yes. and so now there's a cycle of I need to constantly be buying more product yeah. to make sure that I can still get this product, which makes me buy more product, 
Because I have to give out. Roll pro. And um, then you eventually, you're buying that, you're stuck in that cycle, and then they drop Star Pack on you. Yes. Star Pack I'd shows buy up Star at the front door, and you're like... I guess this is what we have to do. The That's other thing flip is... Flip and rip Star Pack? Do you think... Because it's happened sometimes in the past, and it happens with a couple of other card games, but I've seen it happen with Yu-Gi-Oh! Prices in this country are going to be weird as fuck. Yeah. Oh, um, absolutely. Also, with next set, the price of packs increase. Uh, that's interesting because that's how it's happened with pretty much every other game. Yeah. Uh, so I was waiting for that to happen it, for Yu-Gi-Oh! It Yu -Oh. officially will happen with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Darkwind Blast release. Um, so five fifty. Yeah. yeah, packs go up fifty cents. Um, which will mean like on average you're paying probably like one thirty a box. I think the price of a box will go one twenty. Yeah, I think it's like one twenty three or four ish. Okay. Is what um, look at it. I'm I'm super curious to see like if we have an influx of people buying ultis from Europe or if we I just think like ultis in this country are just 150 on release I for think like mid ones if this is a worldwide situation oh my god the price of ultis is going to just going up especially playable ones like, the playable ones will what are we getting through the roof this, Ghost this, Reaper is it uh, uh, this the, the one that just came the out the one that we oh, just got in Australia is, um, um Albaz yep yeah. Uh, I, I haven't gone on a rant about this before but I don't give a fuck about this OTS pack no no you but... talk about the next one ah let's go Ghost Reaper it's a hand trap and go in the deck it's fine uh, anyway it's yeah. it's oh, because I, I just want to keep an idea of what these prices do now yeah because from what we know is it in a uh, it's oh it's Enchantress Oh, yeah. Skill, and skill Drain, Drain Skill Drain Enchantress Albaz um, that's a good that's a good one no we've been over this we've been over this it's not Skill Drain's good Skill Drain's fine Skill Drain's fine the rest of them I don't care, but I, yeah. I'd like to. Um, yeah. uh, I'm. I. We should probably watch these prices, see what happens, yeah. and then the next one being Ghost Reaper and all that. Yeah. Don't give Ben an excuse to do market watch. <laughs> no, but it's it's going to be super yeah. interesting because it'll be on the back of. There's literally a set number of OTS now. Previously, True. I guess it was pretty much however much we could fucking buy. Yeah. Like. But I do have the ultimate situation on how Konami can solve all of this. They can just walk into any random locals and go, do you want what's in the box? Yes, I And then do. they, are, they oh, open the box <laughs> to reveal all these beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, oh my god, yo, it's fucking Luster Dragon. <laughs> this very oh. real Luster Dragon. And this, what about oh, this very wait, real... it's agents. Three half a agents. Oh, yeah, Jake, it's your agents. It's agents. Oh, I got... Where did you pull oh, this from? This is your parents. Look uh, yeah. at the foilage <laughs> of this bad boy. So, um, <laughs> that's so lit. Context behind this, uh, I found the fake cards in my parents' second garage. Um, is it fake yeah, Pokemon we, too? I think there's fake Pokemon oh, cards Oh, this here. is fake Pokemon. Yeah, there's oh, a... Oh, that looks fake as heck. Somehow this stuff survived in the wet weather. The real cards didn't. <laughs> they, could have, they could survive Yeah, because this was made out of fucking... Look at this obelisk, mate. Look at this obelisk. That's that, real. Oi, that's nostalgic as fuck. Ah, uh, red OG. eyes... B Bro, dragon. OG, OG fake obelisk. That's lit. That's that. That is a classic corner store. OG Yu -Gi -Oh. fake obelisk. It is not. It is. It is, no, it is. Yu -Gi -Oh. is it first ed obelisk. Uh, no, it's not first ed. Sadly, it's not first ed. That's, that's OG. Does yeah. the wing dragon of Ra have the um the tech the cipher on it? No, it it's just not like oh, it's like the tech. most powerful creature to rule or whatever. Oh my god. And um, that was the team yes. of fake cards. Do we have the questions? We do indeed have questions. Uh, starting off with the Discord, uh, we have a question from Ryguy. And Ryguy asks, Rai Guy. Uh, what, deck do you, what is the deck you refuse to read? Uh, for him, it is magic -y. As soon as he sees it, his brain checks out. Oh, this, question this is such a good week? question. No, this question was no, asked on the 3rd of the 8th. Uh, 13th of the 8th, sorry. That was last week. Oh, you know what? My, do you know what mine was? Do you know what uh, mine like was? In the, last week. in the last week. Yes. Because this comes from Jake saying, I refuse to read math deck. Uh, do, you know what <laughs> my, do you know what mine was? Super uh, prank. I have never read a prank card. Not once. Like, the most I have kids. done, the most, yeah, the most I have done is go, this is a wind. Okay. It seems like something you probably should have read. Yeah. I never lost to it. <laughs> it didn't have anything to do with my deck having okay. a disgustingly good matchup against it. But anyway. I can't think of a deck where I haven't read the cards. Yeah, I, I do it pretty frequently. But maybe that's just because I know all the cards. For me, it's no, Drytron. 
For me, it's just straight up Dragon Ball. Oh, uh, that might the, be. The problem is, I had to read them because I played them, so it was like. I still, whenever it was. Oh, plays it, Earth I'm Machine. Just like, Earth Machine, you just. I are short, short Chief. I say, what did it do? Yep. Oh, yeah. I believe you. All right. <laughs> no worries. Win the game? Oh, well, guess we go game two. Yeah, all right. That's, sure. That was pretty. Yeah, the, fair enough. Yeah, I, I straight up. That, there are some decks that I'm just like. Or I've seen played so many times. I'm they just like, agree. yeah, sure. That, that does that. that oh, does that. any deck that I've tested, I'll be like, yep, cool. Very good. Yeah, it's okay. Sure. Ah, probably. Yeah, mm-hmm. go for it. So, for some reason, that way the game just isn't coming up on YouTube for me. This wouldn't happen if Let's we go to checked. the next question. Um, so, next question is uh, from Big Dump. What is your favorite card from the new set? Power the Olympic. Yep. Um... I want to kind of be boring. The new Boki Boki. I got it. What? Uh, it didn't want to the new Boki Boki. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, I I won't lie to you. Card art wise, I love Ultimate Slay as a card. Yeah. Oh, that absolutely. fucking even card of shit. That card itself, so nice looking. Um. Mine's hmm. Ultimate Slay. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate it's Slay. so nice. And it's not once per turn. <laughs> it's I, not once per yeah. turn. It's not once per turn. It, oh it my is, gosh. in fact, it does not have the text that is singular time in your turn arc. I think I really like the foiling in the fair on Sprite Blue. Oh, yeah. It just looks super pretty. When you started yeah. saying that sentence, I was like, he's going to say Sprite Blue. And that's yeah. true. Yeah. That card they is just so have, I think it's they Sprite have Blue. A, they have, a, like, a consistency of, like, cards that are fairly bland outside of it, itself, like, has a neutral background. Yeah. They just foil the fuck out of it. It's just like... Like, the way that the blue in the back hits with the black. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Such a nice art. Wait, did you do um, something? Well, yeah, I got some other questions, but they're oh. very, they're very, very key questions. Okay, um, okay. So, TB says, uh, just came here as a listener. I'm here from Spotify. Hello. Jake took my time and hurt my ears, but I think <laughs> Lachlan needs to be pre-recording these. Uh, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> he was going to do it, uh, and then... A mixture of us not asking and him not asking. We should stop he, doing it. He got a job, but now he's a busy man. Yeah. We also heard his feelings when he had COVID and we started talking shit about how he <laughs> didn't record the questions when he had COVID. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That what is very there's a big army of pro-Lachlan people on Spotify? Hello, Hello Spotify! Lachlan's <laughs> one of the three OGs, I'm waving. Like... Uh, True. <laughs> next off, we have a uh, comment from Wish. Uh, Wish.com. I'm... I'm What's here up? from Apple Podcasts. Preaching. Oh, what's up? What's going on, man? <laughs> Thanks, Apple dude. Podcasts. No, fucking hey, people who are dickheads. <laughs> I used to listen to Apple Podcasts. Okay. So I have an iPhone. Yeah. And I can use CarPlay. Yeah, you can use what's Spotify with, with all that. You mean you can? Fuck Spotify. You use Spotify. It has ads on it. Oh my god. I don't use Spotify. Yeah, but it's Spotify brilliant. takes money. Uh, t- Taylor Swift. They had problems, right? She's Fuck Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why you use Apple Music, right? Because Taylor Swift and Spotify were anyway, yeah. Apple, Apple Play, yeah. Apple Podcast, whatever. That's it. No, he's just here from Apple Podcast. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. He, oh, didn't right. the, he didn't write the full thing that we asked you to write. Wish. Fix that. Yeah. Jake hurt your ears. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, Drudgeon Mira is, yep. hello, I am here from uh, 29, 9.27 p.m. AEST. Uh, this one, so. <laughs> 14 slash 8 slash 2 3. Thank you. Jake clearly didn't hurt our ears. Yeah, look, fair. I think... uh, for some reason, I thought that was today, and I was like, that's weird. That's very weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would have been such a good setup. It's, <laughs> um, it's 17 today at 3 a.m. Yeah, it's, what, it's always 3 a.m., right? It's always 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, it feels like it. I feel like it. <laughs> well, it's it late. It's late, man. Um, I think that's it for the questions for this for week. For the good questions. So... If we didn't read your question, it was shit. <laughs> no, we, I read all the questions. But if you do have any questions, of course, down in the, the link Discord. in the description below. Um, uh, Discord, down there. Also, there's a comment section there. You can comment there as well. Or read both. I didn't promo this at the start. Promo it at the end. But yeah. Discord, Always smart down to below. do that. Yeah. Like um, if they got this far, they're going to do questions. it. Questions. <laughs> Look, we're operating yeah. pretty blind here. And you know Brags what? You know what? If, if you're not here... If, sorry, if you're still here... Yep. Just ask us questions. Fuck the you guys. Just questions. Just, just life. Just ask us whatever questions. You have a relationship problems? <laughs> this is what you want right here, bro. Yeah, you this want is the, what you need. You want the Christian, the one in the relationship, the single man. Yeah. That's what you want. Single Christian ex fiance. Trust, it's all fine. We're so good at this. If there's one thing I've learned from having a priest on my couch for the past two weeks is just take the phone off him if he's talking to girls. There you go. 
We have to blur so <laughs> much mean, of that. No, we don't. No, we don't. I could have said um, so much worse. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, well, I mean, you kept to it be clear. fair, I don't know who this priest is because I'm not a priest. Look, Caravan Steve must be happy. So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that that will bring us to the end of this week's Cowboy for Game. You leave us relationship advice questions. I want this to happen. Hey, I'm fucking on this. If for some reason you're still here, do it. Goodbye, everybody. And this. <laughs>